Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you are okay today. It's good to see you. Um, I just want to share with you today about um, uh, the intelligent design movement and a clear witch hunt that has gone on against the intelligent design movement and a cover up that has been done by the evolutionist and the atheist. And this, this is not scaremongering. This is. Um, this is something that can easily be verified factual information can be brought to you not only factual but government department papers American government department papers who've investigated this subject and found that there has been uh, discrimination uh, and a witch hunt against uh, people who who are uh, inclined to intelligent design and an example of that is Dr. Sternberg who at the time of the controversy uh, was not even uh, a complete uh, uh, defender of intelligent design but was uh, helping to edit uh, a, uh, a uh, an academic journal and uh, allowed uh, an article, I think it was of uh, Dr. Mayers, an intelligent design advocate, uh, to be published, uh, or or some intelligent design uh, thinker, and all hell broke loose. The whole scientific community attacked him uh, and defamed him, uh, etc. Now, this was shown in the documentary Expelled, and then expelled got lambasted by everybody not not Christians but by the liberal elite and by the evolutionist and atheist it got completely lambasted and uh, so I thought well I'll check some of these criticisms are they true and they they said that the factual information that expelled this documentary about intelligent design was just not true about Dr. Sternberg Dr. Sternberg about uh, his, his, um, his, his, the discrimination that he experienced um, in the institution where he was working, and so I thought I'll go and check it. So I went to this guy's website, uh, and this is what I found, and I'll show you. Uh, so we're going to go to his website. So here's his website, and he's got a whole. So we'll just look at his biography. I mean, so this guy's an evolutionary biologist, okay? I am an evolutionary biologist with an interest in relation between genes and morphological homologies and the nature of genotic, gen, genomic information. I hold a PhD in biology, molecular evolution uh, from Florida International University and a PhD in system science and theoretical biology from Binghamton University. From 2001-2007 I served as staff of the scientist at the National Center for Biotechnology Information and from 2001-2007 I was a research associate at the Simothian National Museum of Natural History. I am presently a research scientist in the Bio Biologic Institute etc. and he is quite an eminent geezer, you know. He's quite, quite, uh, quite a thinker, and uh, there he is. And then he says, "My approach to the study of bio biology. I think that neo-Darwinian theory is at best a very limited framework for understanding the development and organisation and disparity of fossil and recent taxa, as it formally pertains to the fixation and loss of gene variation in populations." evolutionary genetics leaves open the central issue of how the one-dimensional genotype can specify the four-dimensional uh, phenotype. So, I mean, this guy's got doubts about uh, the Darwinian um, project. But then he's got a whole bit here about all this time about his persecution. And he tells the story here which is really interesting. In 2004 my capacity as editor of the Proceedings of the Biology Society of Washington I authorized the origin 
of biological information and the higher taxonomic categories by Dr. Stephen Mayer to be published in the journal after the passing peer review. Because of Dr. Mayer's article presented scientific evidence for intelligent design in biology, I faced retaliation, defamation, harassment and a hostile work environment at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History that was designed to force me out as a research associate there. These actions were taken by federal government employees acting in concert with an outside advisory group, the National Center for Scientific Education. Efforts were also made to get me fired from my job as staff scientist at the National Center of Biotechnology Information. Subsequently, there were two federal investigations of my mistreatment, one by the U.S. Office of Special Counsel in 2005, I've read these documents, and the other by subcommittee staff of the U.S. House Committee on Government Reform, I have read that document. Both investigations unearthed clear evidence that my rights have been repeatedly violated, and if you go further down the website, so you can get him on uh, www richardssternberg.com alright and if you type in the Smith Sonian controversy you'll be able to find the website if you don't get the link if the video gets married and you haven't got the link but here if you look down here at the website you see there US official council letter I'll just see if it, if it, if it comes on there Okay, if you read that letter, uh, and, and on that letter tells you all the research that they did, the government did, and and showed how scientists. Another one here, government investigation. Oh, that's PDF out of my. Um, my computer won't do PDF at the moment for some reason. But anyhow, uh, you got the report 2006, you got the 2006 here. I've read the reports, you read the reports, and they uncover clear discrimination of this scientist. And this idea that evolutionists are objective scientists is complete and utter rubbish when you read these reports. You see, here's a man who, who's an evolutionist who just wants to give intelligent design people more of a hearing. He's now moved over to intelligent design more now since the controversy. But at the time, he was just wanting to have uh, an intelligent design person to have a an hearing. And the guy's whole career was nearly destroyed. All right. So that's hard government documentary proof. And they went into a massive massive investigation all right so you can read those documents for yourself and you will find the disgraceful conduct of the scientific community against the intelligent design movement thank you for listening and god bless you